show, everyone. On with the show. Helen Keller, one of the world's truly great women, arrives at Kingsford Smith Airport, Sydney, to begin an Australian-wide lecture tour. Out of her own darkness, she has brought light and hope and courage to tens of thousands of afflicted people. Stricken blind and deaf at two years of age, Miss Keller consequently could never learn to speak normally. When she addresses the young students at Sydney's Deaf and Dumb Institute, her artificially acquired monotone is interpreted by Miss Thompson for those children with partial or aided hearing. Every step I'm going to prove with you, Archer Evelyn. I know every step of the road you are taking. And I don't need choices. I feel cheer and determination. And I rejoice at your cheer and determination. Uh, the obstacles you meet are many. Because the obstacles you meet are and, many. And who live in the world? With life, strangely, and, and, and with you. And when you go out to life's struggles and adventures, you, you will raise a banner. You will raise a banner. Who follow you. For the deaf who follow you. In class, she follows the progress of the older girls in learning talk. Helen Keller. Everybody is like, oh, Helen Keller, what a brave deaf and blind woman who never could hear. Or She has a British accent. She's like, I'm here today to talk. How the hell does she have a British accent? Maybe she's it's like Madonna. She just puts it on to feel fun and she's exotic. Never heard a, she's never heard a spoken word, and she's from Alabama. She's a British actress. Maybe so it's classy. like Helen Keller wasn't really deaf. She was like, hello, today. And, and it's all global as shit. It's like <laughs> Helen Keller, a woman who couldn't see or hear, had strong opinions on socialism, women getting the right to vote, eugenics. It's like, yeah, I'm pretty sure she was. Uh, and, and I know people say that's crazy, but you tell me how a deaf person who's never heard anyone talk, it's a British accent. Maybe they're, yeah, maybe I'm, I'm blaming Madonna for this one. Yeah, yeah. no, it's, I know, I get it. Like Madonna's probably why the world's a ball too. <laughs> There's quite a lot of very joyful yes, yes. When deafblind persons meet for the first time. At Wurunga School for Blind Children, Helen Keller meets Miss Alice Betteridge of Victoria, also blind, deaf, and dumb. Today, Miss Betteridge achieves a lifelong ambition as Helen Keller takes her hand and speaks to her in the only language she can understand. Mm. Yeah. No. I'm glad to see you at last. Yes. Yes. If Helen Keller could see the excitement on Miss Betteridge's face, it alone would be sufficient to make her trip to Australia worthwhile. Mm. 